Hello, Planet Fantastic. This is Jeff Feast coming to you from Nice, France. Hello, everybody in Canada. Happy birthday, Canada. I understand you're 150 years old. Congrats. Um, the movie Superman, I was very proud to be a part of that film, to be involved with that project. Um, April of 1977, Richard Donner and myself and uh, Ilya Salkine had a meeting in Lynn Stallmaster's office in Los Angeles. And they uh, asked me to play the role of the young Clark Kent in their movie. They gave me the script. I read the script. It was fantastic. Written by Mario Puzo. Then later um, rewritten by Tom Mankiewicz. Great, great writer. And I uh, was asked by Donna right there at the meeting if I, was, if I had a passport because he was going to cast me in the role. And I'm like, wow, that's great. Do I have to wear a costume? He said, no. You just get to play the... Uh, the young Clark Kent without a costume, just a regular normal guy costume. And I said, great. And so they flew me to London and uh, I flew over with Margot Kidder, who at the time was testing for the role of uh, Lois Lane, which is kind of interesting. We had dinner the night that we flew over there and we talked about both of our roles and what, how we felt about it. She was kind of nervous because she was testing. So um, this is April 7, it was April 28th, 1977. It was the one year anniversary of my brother's death. So it was pretty significant for me to be flying to London to do the movie Superman. And of course it was a big film, everybody was excited about it. I was excited about it. I was a big Superman fan, read the comic book, saw the George Reeves TV series, loved that. And I uh, was very excited to be a part of it. Richard Donner was a fantastic director to work with. Um, I got to work with Chris talked with Chris, spent a lot of time with Chris playing chess. He beat me at chess a few times. Pretty smart guy. And I um, I got to know him. He wanted me to get, he wanted us to get to know each other because I'm playing him as a young man. And so he wanted to understand who he was. And I said, oh, that's cool. And uh, then I um, went and shot the Fortress of Solitude scenes. We did all these makeup tests and all this wig tests and they dyed my hair black. It was very strange. Um, we're going to put a nose piece on me and make me look more like Chris. And I um, did the Fortress Solitude for about a month in London. Then I flew back to Los Angeles. Then I had another month in August of 77 in Calgary, where we shot all the farm sequences. Got to work with the great Glenn Ford and Phyllis Thaxter. Both of them were fantastic to work with. Glenn Ford uh, couldn't have been nicer. He was a real pro. And Phyllis was such a great person with some great stories. Talking about Gary Cooper and working with all the Hollywood you know, people that she worked with over the years. And Ilya Salkheim was her son-in-law, so I had some funny stories there. Anyway, sorry, Ilya. Um, but Donner was great. Donner made the film work. He made everybody feel comfortable. He made everybody feel that this was important, that to honor Superman, the character, and the, the story, and verisimilitude, and the honesty, and, and everything just came together. Jeff Unsworth, the photographer, all those great shots in the wheat field scenes, uh, it was magnificent. I'd been up all night long the night before that, hanging out with the assistant directors. They, they were kind of keeping me at bay. I had an early call for my makeup and hair. It took like three hours, put on this wig and the, the nose. Anyway, um, it was great, great to be a part of that. Um, Chris, after the film was done, Chris and the producers and the director decided to dub my voice, which was kind of strange. They never said anything to me that they were going to do it. Uh, I found out later why they did it, because they felt that Chris's voice was different than mine. Mine was deeper, and his is a little bit higher tone. And it felt that the, the age difference between the 18-year-old young Clark Kent and the Superman, you would have pretty much the same voice, so they just kept Chris, Chris's voice. And he, he did a good job dubbing it. I wasn't happy about it. As an actor, it, it hurt me. I was like, wow. Uh, at least they should have said something to me, uh, but they didn't. Anyway, uh, it was a surprise. I got a phone call from Mark McClure at the premiere of the film where he saw it in Washington, D.C., and he told me, hey, they dubbed your voice. Chris dubbed your voice. It's really strange. And I was devastated. I was like, wow. And then all the publicity thing, it was kind of strange. They didn't want to publicize there was another Clark Kent or another Superman. They wanted to just talk about the Superman, Christopher Reeve. Which makes sense for marketing. It's really a movie about Superman. But if you see this film, which you will, everybody has seen it, and I appreciate all you guys, all you there at this convention today, or 
are proud and, and happy to see this film since it's such a great movie it's different in every level and it's hard not to talk about the people that are in it but they didn't warner brothers decided to just talk about chris and advertise anyway i was kind of in the dark most of the time so i kind of left that part of superman uh, like a bittersweet feeling even though i had a great time working with everybody and uh loved donner and uh you know mark McClure and i became very good friends from this so it was great um Valerie and Mark, I love everybody that worked with Terrence Stamp. Wow. Loved working with Terrence. Anyway, um, it was great to be in Canada. I love Calgary. Um, I love the whole section that we shot there, and, and the Canadian people were fantastic to work with. I did another film um, a couple years later in British Columbia called Klondike Fever with Gordon Pinson. Loved working uh, with the Canadian film people. They were fantastic. So, kudos to Canada. Yay, Canada. Anyway, uh, enjoy it. Enjoy your, your time watching the movie. And uh, I was happy to be part of this. Thank you for asking me to be part of Superman and to be part of uh, your experience. Um, you guys have a nice day. And I'll talk to you later. C'est la vie.